Hi there. Welcome to this presentation on the Informatica Master Data Management product. As part of this presentation, we'll go over viewing hierarchy relationships in the Informatica Data Director application. And uh, we'll go over some specific recommendations that we have for customers that have high volume of hierarchy data. So we'll be covering what are the different ways we could view hierarchy in IDD or the Informatica Data Director application in Master Data Management. And uh, we'll go over some of the specific considerations that we have for customers that have large volume of hierarchy data. Then I'll go over the demonstration of the recommendations that we have and we'll conclude with where do you get more information regarding the ITD application. So let's start off with viewing hierarchy in IDD. So the Informatica Data Director application can be configured to use a hierarchy profile that you've already configured. So once you configure a profile and relate it to the IDD application, so you can then go ahead and uh, view entities and the relationships between the entities within IDD. There are three different ways you could use this information. First one would be as when you open an entity, so you there would be a relationship section or a tab, and you could it's a tabular information of all the entities which the given entity is related to. The second one is uh, you could view a pictorial graph where each entity is represented as an icon with a given image right which you've pre-configured and then so there's a line which is drawn with a specific color between the different icons to denote the relationship between them and the relationship type then within the HM canvas itself we you could have a flyover section where you can view again the data or the relationship in a tabular form and along with that in the flyover you could go in and uh, query so that um, you could uh, get a specific set of results that a specific set of related entities rather than viewing all the en related entities which is given in the relationship tab or section so customers who have high volume of relationship data right so let's assume that you are viewing uh, the hierarchy in a pictorial or the graphical form so what does this mean if you are viewing thousands of relationships so you would see a screen which has thousands of line crisscrossing each other and it would not make any sense to you at all so that's one thing you need to consider right the second thing is uh, with timeline now and uh, when you're looking for the hierarchy or entities with a given effective date. Now uh, when we are looking at the relationship tab for every record out there, for every relationship out there and for every entity which it's related to we have to go back and look at is it effective based on the start and the end date of the, either the entity or the relationship itself. So that's that's a laborious or time consuming process. So these are the things you would need to keep in mind right when uh, you're using relationships and uh, hierarchies. So what are the considerations that we have or the recommendations that we have for such customers who have like thousands of relationships? So there's two sets of recommendations that we have. The first set of recommendation is the configuration itself within the IDD configuration application and um, the second set of recommendation is in the server side properties file. So the first set of recommendations that we have is to set the total number of relationships to 100 and relationships per entity to 100 and number of hops to 1. So what this would mean is we are just retrieving at the most 100 relationships. Right? And um, if there is an entity which has more than 100 relationships, you'll get a warning message. So the next thing uh, setting in the CMX server.properties is the CIF 
dot api dot hm dot flyover dot max record count so and we recommend you set this value to 100 so this setting controls the number of records which are retrieved in the flyover section of the hierarchy manager canvas so your entity would have thousands of relationships but we just get the first hundred so what what do you get with these recommendations so we already went over the first one, right? So by limiting uh, your relationships to 100, if you have more than 100 relationships, as we said, I mean, uh, more than 100 relations would be unusable. The HM canvas would be unusable. You can you cannot pinpoint a given relationship. So that's the reason why we say you need to bring down the usable relationships to 1,000, or, or sorry, 100. And uh, now when you limit it to 100, if an uh, entity has more than 100 relationships, we just display a warning message that the limit has reached, and we just display the entity. If the entity has less than 100 records, you can see all of them without any warning message. So now uh, the second one, right, with the flyover count. So even if your entity has 1,000 relationships, we just get the first 100. And then now with the flyover, you have the ability to query, right? So you could filter. So using this filter, you could query for any record or any related entity, e even though it's not in the first 100 records which are retrieved. It will still be a new query which will be fired, which will go in and retrieve this record. So this gives you the ability so both of these give you the ability where the user does not have to wait on on the hierarchy to be loaded, right? So if if there is more than thousand, like fifty thousand, so it it would take the same amount of time as for a record that takes hundred, right? Because we are limiting here. So the idea here is to use the flyover to go ahead and query for specific entities you know of, and then you could go ahead and add them to the canvas. So let's jump into a demo here to uh, go over what our recommendations are. So I'm going to start the demo with the actual recommendations and uh, what settings they are. And then we'll go over what these would mean. So let me first log into the sample application here. So to go over to the hierarchy manager setting, you would l open the application, the edit the application, and then you would click on this HM configuration icon here. So this is where you would set your limits. So total relationships to 100, relationships per entity to 100, number of hops to 1. The second one which we talked about is in the hub server resources folder. So CMX server dot properties set the SIF API HM flyover max record count. So we recommend you set it to 200. So I'm setting it to 10 just to show you the extreme uh, way the records are filtered, right? So remember that every time you change the setting in the IDD configuration, you would have to save it and redeploy your application. Every time you make the change to the CMX server dot properties, you would need to restart your application server. And if you are in a clustered environment, you would need to modify the CMX server dot properties under each node in the cluster, and you would need to restart each of the nodes within the cluster. Now let's go back and uh, look at what what do we get when we um, use these properties. So I'm going to log out and log back in here. So I'm going to query for a record that has around uh, 175 odd relationships in my environment. Right, I'm going to first view the hierarchy view of it. So this displays a pictorial representation, right? So since it has 175 relationships and uh, I'm limiting to 100, I get this warning message that not all the relationships were retrieved because the limit was reached. It just displays you the entity. If there were less than 100 relationships, it would display you all the relationships and the entities 
it's related to. Now to view the flyover, you basically select the entity and so this is a hundred or or in my case the ten related entities, right? So because I've set my flyover limit to ten. So now to demonstrate that you could query for any record, any entity out there which this entity is related to, even though it's not in the initial list, I could go ahead and write my own filter. It, so it, it retrieved me the next set of records, right? So this is not in, not all these records were in the first list, right? But then here again, I mean, it, so it limits to that record count that you've set every time you do that, right? And one thing you need to note here is the data which is displayed here, right, for the entity. So I'm going to go switch over to uh, the hub console here real quick. So uh, I have a hierarchy setting here and the data that is displayed in the flyover under each of the entity is the label pattern, right? So that label data that you configured for each of the entity. Right, so you could, so what this means is you could basically go in and add something new if you want to the package and then add it, then select it here, right? So you would be able to display that specific attribute of your entity back in uh, the flyover and it would allow you to go query for that specific uh, attribute, right? So now uh, what's the last bit? This is the last bit was about opening the data view of the customer and then opening the relationship section. Yeah, there we go. So we have the results here for the relationship tab. So as you see, so the relationship tab displays all the results, all the relationships, right? So there's no limit which has been imposed even with the flyover count. So as you see, we have around 176 records. So two things to bear in mind here, right? So one is the relationship tab will take a lot of time to load and uh, you'll have to page through each and every page to view the information, right? So this is kind of slow. So this, the other thing you need to note is that the flyover count restriction of the number of records is not used by the relationship tab. So this does retrieve all the rows, right? So now uh, there's one other thing you need to consider with the flyover property, right? So is uh, is that, let's say for example, for some reason, if the sequence of event was, I opened the entity in the data view and then uh, viewed all the relationship and then opened the hierarchy and then I went over to the flyover, the flyover will not try to restrict to any records. It will go ahead and retrieve all the records. So if the sequence of events where you open the entity via data view, viewed all the relationship by clicking on the relationship tab or section and then went to hierarchy view and um, went over to the flyover, the flyover will display you all the rows. So it will not restrict to the r max flyover count that you've set. Right, so that's that's an expected behavior, and that's the restriction that we have. Right, so so that's about uh, the demo here, right? And uh, the things you consider have already gone over with them. So if you need more information on Informatica Data Director itself or how hierarchy is used within the Informatica Director data director application, you can uh, go over the Informatica data director implementation guide, which is part of the MDM mm, documentation deck. Right. So uh, that's it for now and thank you.